Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. We're going to take a look at Leo. Hey Leo, I hope you guys are doing okay out there. I did meditate over these cards. We're going to take a look and see what's going on with your individual energy. All right, let's get right into it guys. Let's get right into it. Please like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe, please. So, just to let you know. I had the most beautiful day. Oh, it rained all day. Oh, it was lovely. So, okay, that's enough for me. So anyway, let's go on and see what's going on with you. I'm going to pull your individual energy and see what comes out. Uh, you guys, you know, I'm, I'm going to see what comes out in the current energy. I'm going to see what comes out in the current energy first, right? Let's see where you are right now, because I'm wondering if something, something that you guys are doing, something that you did, uh, it appears, it appears planned. Okay. Let's see what's going on. What's going on with you guys? What? I feel like you guys knew something was coming to an end in your lives. I mean, and when I say something is coming to an end, something's going to switch up, something's going to change, something like that, right? <clears throat> um, I feel like you guys knew that something had to change. That's what I feel like. I feel like you guys knew something had to change. Um, and I think that's why we see these things here. I think some of you guys knew something had to change, but I think you were resisting it. And so when you resist something, what comes with that? Sometimes destructive behavior, right? Okay, give me Leo's current energy, please. I wasn't being honest with myself. I was having some conflict in something. All your feelings, even the difficult ones, have a message for you. Accept your truth. Let's sort of take it from there. I feel like um, you guys uh, were trying too hard to control something. Maybe there's something that you needed to let go, right? I feel like some of you guys were embracing this conflict. Like, I'm going to fight this head on, whatever it is, whatever this is. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to deal with this head on. I'm going to fight with this head on. But you guys have, are coming out of this energy and kind of surrendering it, right, to a higher being. That's what it feels like. You guys are letting something go with conflict. Now, it's funny because it does fall under the death card. That's where you guys are thinking, listen, I know I need some changes happening in my life. I feel like for some of you guys, this death card, it symbolizes transition, so it could be some of you guys are dealing with something having to do with a relationship, changing, a dynamic changing, or coming to an end. This could be job loss for some of you guys. But some of you guys could simply be just switching up the way things are done in your life. Like the, the way that I'm going right now, the concoction that I'm using to navigate right now is not working for me. So some of you guys are literally just shaking things up, right? Okay, let's see what else comes up for you. There, I'm turning these. Let's see what else comes up. Give me more, please, for Leo. What's going on with Leo? Mm. Archangel Michael is with you now. Uh, I feel like maybe some of you guys have this feeling of being abandoned in a sense. Even though you can't see it, I am actively working on this situation, and I'm here helping you. You guys, you need to remember that you are not alone. The funny thing is you're never alone. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something. You could have, You could have this place, right? And it could be built from the ground. Nobody's lived here but me. Da -da 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 -da. It's great. No matter how many exterminators and all this other stuff you got going on, traps, exterminators, you're not alone. Okay? Just saying. Do that. So you guys are not alone here. Give me more, please. We also see you are protected. Okay. I feel like you guys had to relinquish something. It was something that you were trying to control and you had to let go of it. Um, I feel like ultimately you guys started to understand I am protected, right? I feel like you guys are actively protected here. It says you're protected. You are safe within my bubble of light. You can proceed with confidence. I feel like some of you guys may have been... Um, I want to say reluctant to move forward in something, reluctant to move forward in this change that you knew had to take place because I feel like the old way was bothering you, wasn't working for you, whether this be relationship, whether this be job. The cards are saying there's something about a switch in jobs or something like that. It could be something with a different job, all right? Um, and also, for some of you guys, 
the cards say that this is a positive result, this death card. So some people, when they see the death card, they're like, oh, it's terrible. Not necessarily. It means transition. It means something has to change. But it also means there's a positive result coming from something that you were looking forward to anyway. So even though you were scared, you were looking forward to it. I feel like this is a matter of I didn't know how it was going to play out. Mm. All right, give me more, please. Okay, we have the way forward is open. Some of you guys are still stuck with this part. Like, what is my way forward? The card, you know, that says you are here. And then there's the joy. Joy! <laughs> well, you're not quite there yet. There are some delays and it does display in this reading too. Right, so let's go ahead and look at this. You are not, wait, you're not trapped. Possibilities and opportunities abound. I will guide you to a personal and spiritual freedom. Some of you guys are going to be some delays with this. But the path is being made. One way or another, whether you, whether you like the way it's playing out or not, all these things are happening because you have to get to the next part of whatever it is you're doing. But I do fear the part where you got there in a destructive way, right? So you guys want to be mindful of that. The part where you play this out, you're protected. So there's no need for you to, you know, overact and all this other stuff, right? Because we see here where you might have been worried about that. And eventually, I think the situation became too much and you're like, I have to let it go, right? So I have that. Let me see what else comes up for you guys. Hold on, let me put these over here. I have like all these cards. It really is going to be card, like card palooza for you because <laughs> I have all my cards out. Mm. I even found the ones I couldn't find. So, ooh, yay. All right, now let me take a look and see what else comes up for you guys. Um, now, I'm going to pull the rest of these cards too, but I also want to point out with you guys, the cards are saying here that even though something had to come to an end, you guys are financially sound. The cards say that you achieved financial success at whatever it is you do, but it also says at what cost. What did you have to give up in order to get, to get into this position? All right. The cards are saying that you need to be reminded that money cannot buy happiness and money cannot buy love. The cards are saying that there might be too much of a chase of material. What is material? I'm too into those things. I'm not really worried about what is spiritual. The cards are saying here that you guys are more focused on what is material worth versus your personal growth. Right. So there's no balance here. You're focusing too much on things. And if, if you look at what you did, why self-worth, low self-worth, that's what the cards are saying here. It says low self-worth equals too much focus on finances, too much focus on money. For some of you guys, this is like self-conscious, you're like you're subconscious. You didn't even think about it. It was like, I never thought of it that way. Right. So sometimes these things are just a reminder, right? Now, the cards are saying that whatever went down here, because I feel like something's not playing out the way you want it to, or this thing that you have going on, this wish that you wanted, this, this wish granted, this whatever it is, something that you are looking forward to, I don't think it plays out the way you want it to play out. But the cards are saying that in spite of what we see, there's still a chance that you may be able to set a firm foundation for what you want. So I'm thinking whatever this is, it may not have been the greatest situation, I'm thinking. I feel like there could have been some conflict here. I mean, if we look at this, this is a public place. I don't know what went down here. You know, all right. This is some kind of listen, hold on. Listen, because I don't want to say too much on YouTube. I really, look at that. Um, I want you to see this. There is, is that card. Uh, there's somebody who's on a bus, right? Public place. There's somebody who looks like, you know... Well, they look exactly like the card says, right? But they're in green. But notice what they have in their hands. I'm here to tear something down. I'm here to destroy something because something needs to be destroyed. Something has to be redone or whatever that's about. You know what I mean? All right. So let me put that back in focus. Yeah. So um, here. All right. There we go. So also, I want to tell you guys that even though there's still a chance for you guys to come out on top of whatever it is you want, and even though we're not excited about the way that we got to this point, the cards are saying here that you can still build this foundation that you want, whatever this dream is for you guys, right? But the cards are saying there's going to be some delays with this. The cards are also saying that there's some sort of a celebration. And I think that's what the cards say. The celebration is not a happy celebration. It's a celebration, but it's not. Let me see if I can. Let me see if I have, I, if I can define this. 
it's literally, I knew something had to change. I wanted something to change. I didn't want it to go down like this, but unfortunately this is the way that it had to happen in order for me to get to where I wanted to go. I didn't want to change. I'm going to have a positive outcome because of this. Now, if we move forward, it talks about again, a celebration, but the celebration didn't happen the way I wanted it to, but I still get this opportunity, this opportunity that I've been waiting for to do something else. Now, we have the moon reversed here, and it talks about you guys in this intensified state of illusion. You guys are not seeing things clearly. Now, for some of you guys, this is you not wanting to accept the reality of a situation and the fact that it's got to change or whatever's going on. But the cards are also saying that you are blind to your own faults. So you don't even know or never examined why you're doing the things that you do. And it's because of low self-worth. That's what the cards are saying here. Now, granted, this is not going to be for every Leo. But you need to understand that whatever it is that you guys were doing, I feel like you guys are protected. It's okay for you to move on now. This change that you were resisting. It's amazing how you can resist change yet walk right towards it because you know you got to beat it. Like, I don't want to go, but I got to go. So something has to change. I feel like something does change. But I think a lot of it, too, is you guys relinquish whatever it is you were trying to control. But what comes out of it? Whatever you wanted. I just don't feel like you guys are happy about the process. Like what you had to go through to get to this point. So the cards are saying here, there's something about you guys being blind to your own faults. And that's the part where the cards point that you can be destructive with that. Like for some of you guys, you're not even thinking, I don't even know that I'm doing this. I don't know why I'm doing this. So you're being advised that you really want to look at that. But the cards also say that you guys are heightened. There's this heightened something. There's an illusion that's going to come off. It's like a mask is going to fall off of a person or a situation. And you're going to discover who is truly against you. That's what the card said. So for you guys here, Leo, I see a lot of water energy here for you guys. I specifically see a Scorpio. I also see a Pisces here. I see Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So your energy shows up, but there's also earth energy here also. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. So really everybody shows up. Hmm. Tell me what else. You know what? I'm going to pull these. Uh, if you guys, let me see if we can do clearly. Let's see what goes on. What are they? What are those about? The dreams. Tell me about the dreams. Dreams. If you hear Sasquatch sigh. <laughs> if you hear something that don't sound right. Sigh. Take a deep breath. I don't know if you should walk away, sigh, take a deep breath. Some of you guys need to reflect on some things. Some of you guys, this is about you seeking the truth. It depends on whatever this is for you. But in most cases, we're going to reflect on some things. Right? We're going to ponder some things. We're going to assess the situation and then we will attempt to control it. But when you realize you can't control it, then you just get rid of it, relinquish it, let it go. Whatever that's about. I don't know. So for some of you guys, I don't know if you've been seeing weird things in your dreams that are sparking you to have thoughts about something. If you hear a Sasquatch sigh. But whatever that means. Whew. Okay. And now I know why. Give me one more. <laughs> when the storm spirits play... Okay, for some of you guys, I, again, I don't know, you know, this could be about you trying to have a new beginning in something. Some of you guys are having these visions or dreams about what you want to do, what you want to accomplish, how you want to develop yourselves. Some of you guys, this is about you wanting to become independent from something, entity, job, whatever. Some of you guys want to become more independent in a situation. Some of you guys have this vision, and this is what comes up in your dreams. Like, I have a vision about something that I want to do, something that I'm led to do, something like that. So I feel like you guys have this vision, reflection, vision, eight, manifesting what I want. You guys are trying to manifest something. Hmm. Let me see this. All is calm upon these shores. Okay. I'm looking at this. 
Okay, now I'm assuming that this has to do with you guys trying to find some kind of balance in a relationship, right? Trying to remain calm in something. For some of you guys, this is more about you trying to bring something into fruition. I feel like you guys are trying to manifest something about a relationship, a calm relationship, a calm approach. This could even be a partnership, I feel like. I don't necessarily feel like it's romantic, but I feel like this could be a partnership. A partnership about an idea, something. Whatever that's about, leave that there. Take what resonates, leave the rest behind. I'm literally just pulling random cards. All right, what else we have? What else does Leo need to know? Or show me more about Leo. Okay, something about growth in summer. So I don't know where you guys are in the world, but I feel like there's going to be some delays here. Maybe you guys had some kind of expectation of summer something. There could be delays, but there is going to be growth. Perhaps you're in a delay stage now. And you're going to come out of this energy and the growth will start in summer for some of you guys, whatever that means. Also, we have lack and doubts. Now, some of you guys have this energy of lack, doubt. You know what? This card, I'm going to just keep on the way they, this came out reverse. So, also something about lack and doubt. All right. Give me more. Summer growth, doubts. Okay. Remember, awakening. More. Feminine, remember, doubts, growth, self-care, energy, remember. Um, growth, summer. I feel like there are some delays here. Now, I feel like, I, like I said, some of you guys might be in this delayed thing now and the growth will come up. Maybe something about it will grow in summer. I feel like some of you guys definitely still have some doubts about a situation or a matter but there's something about something that you need to remember about somebody or there's some sort of an awakening that needs to happen, something. And then it says self-care. Awakening, remember awakening, self-care. I feel like you guys need to uh, focus on yourselves, obviously, a bit more. I feel like for some of you guys, there's a possibility that you are drained energetically. Healing inner child, self-care. I feel like some of you guys are going to go ahead and with the self-care, focus on the inner child and focus on those things. Healing, lack, hot, attraction, Mars. Okay, this is reverse. Awakening. Family, home, commitment. Energy, inner child. Okay, hot, attraction, family. Okay, give me one more. Renewal, spark. Some of you guys... Some of you guys could have separated from a partner at some point. And some of you guys maybe needed some time to heal something, inner child. And I think for some of you guys, you could also be, I don't want to say questioning an attraction for a partner. that says something here about commitment family. Do I want to renew this? Is there enough spark? Is there enough attraction? Show me love. Show me love, please. Show me love for Leo. Finances and career. Okay, there's something going on here. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. This could possibly be the past and to come out reversed. All right, so we, you guys could see some difference, um, some difference in finances or whatever. Things could be better for you in summertime, possibly. New love. Um, some of you guys could be attracted to some, a new person has stared romantic feelings. This did come out reversed. Finances and career, new love. Attraction could that could be, but it also talks about a new person and a renewal with somebody else. This could be the one. Mm. You deserve love, you're lovable. There's something I don't know if you I think some of you guys may have recently separated or something like that. And you're either reviewing your relationship from the past and saying that there was no spark there or there was something, something. But even if we fast forward, I'm looking and it says finances and career, new love. This could be the one. I feel like you guys have some questions or doubts about something. You are lovable. I think you guys might be focusing on things in a wise manner, to be honest with you. If I look at it, I deserve love. This could be the one, new love, finances, and career. I feel like you guys focus on the areas of opportunity. But I feel like there's a possibility this could have been after the work was done because you go from... Needing that self-care to now, you deserve love. 
you are lovable and you believe it about yourself. So I feel like some work may have been done. Give me more, please. Children. Yep. All right. Your love life is being affected by children. This did come out reversed. Ooh, and it just flipped. Okay. This this card did come out reversed. Uh, 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 children, I'm sure, are a factor in what decision you make. Whatever your dynamic is. You, know, you take what resonates, leaves the rest behind. But I definitely see children coming up as an area of opportunity, something that you want to focus on. So maybe some of you guys are trying to focus on having better relationships with your children because I feel like a transition is coming up with the way, you know, with the way the dynamic of the house is. Or maybe something is, maybe there was a dynamic that at one point had everybody. Maybe somebody had to leave for a little while and circle back. So we need to focus on those emotions. And the explanations. And I feel like for some of you guys, whatever happened here, it could have left you in, a, in an area of lack. Like doubt. Lack, doubt. Give me more. Oh, I'm at 21 minutes. Oh, let me pull y'all's cards and get out of here. Hold on. Let's see what else comes up for you guys. I'm going to just pull these really quick. And then I'm going to go on about my way. <laughs> Give me a couple of cards for Leo, please. Give me a couple of cards for Leo. You are going on a long, safe journey. Some of you guys are going to be traveling somewhere. That could be what the bus is about, whatever that's about. Those, right? You have or will receive unexpected pleasure. Some of you guys are going to find some kind of pleasure in something. It could be a hobby. I didn't realize I love painting so much. I don't. I didn't realize I love digging in dirt so much. I love playing in dirt. And look, flowers come out of it. It's something like that, right? But for some of you guys, somebody could actually tickle your fancy in terms of emotions. There's this new person, right? Let's see. Yeah. Don't give so much advice. It causes hard feelings. Some of you guys, be reserved. Don't trust too many people. Okay. Give me more. You are inclined to rule and help people. You have genius thoughts which should be carried through. Your advice is appreciated, Leo. You are inclined to rule and help people. I already read that one. Give me one more. You worry over small matters. A stranger who will turn into a good friend. You will be more prosperous in the near future. You knew that, though, didn't you? You just didn't like the way it happened. The cards did say it was going to happen. They said you got the money, but what did you have to give up to get it? At what cost, right? It could have been anything. Some of you guys could have missed significant events with your children. Like, you know, whatever. Whatever that, whatever that is to you. It does, it's not the same for everybody, guys. You are missing many opportunities. Take advantage Muslim woman, let me stop that. Your troubles will vanish. Happiness ahead. It's coming. You will receive a check or paper money soon. The bread is coming. <laughs> okay. Help your friend who is in need. He will bring you good luck. No. Okay. Let me let me go on about my way. Give me a couple of cards. I feel like I don't have this whole... Oh, I don't. I know I did. I was like, this feels really light. We may as well have... Okay. Give me a couple of cards, please, for Leo. What does Leo need to know out of this deck? What does Leo need to know out of this deck? Oh, I don't know what just happened. Something happened down there. Hold up. Wait a minute. I got it. It didn't hit the ground. So, all right, here we go. Sunshine, it came out, came out reverse. The sun is shining on your career, on you, career and business growth, fabulous communication and relationships. Uh, there are going to be some delays here, guys, but the growth is coming. You're going to see differences in relationships, business partnerships and things like that. Give me more, please. 
Commitment. A commitment is indicated around love or business. It will make you feel better. Listen, y'all knew this. Mm. Give me one more, please. You knew it. Give me one more. Give me one more. Wait a minute. Reinvent yourself. Now, it did come up reverse. The transformation is taking place. Enjoy a new lease on life. Once you see the other side of it. That's what you wanted anyway. It's going to work out just the way you planned. Give me one more. Signs. Your future positive direction will reveal itself. Any doubts and confusions will soon disappear. Now, doubts did come up, right? What was doubts? Oh, right there, lack. Hold on, lack, doubt. It's all going to go away. All right. Sometimes things have to change. And unfortunately, the game you have to play for that change is not always a a nice feeling one, right? So, there you go. Anyway, so what I am going to do, ooh, ooh, guess what I found? <sighs> yeah, I don't know if this is about love. I really, whatever. If this is about love, because I feel like there's a couple of people here. I feel like some of you guys are separated from somebody. And I feel like somebody else has gotten your attention. But let's get no communication. If you guys aren't talking to the person that you separated from, what do you have? Let's see. I need more time to heal and love myself. That's coming from your person that you're not communicating with. They're also healing and loving themselves too. Let's see. We need to talk about everything. One more. I'm scared. I get too nervous. Give me one more from this person. I've been thinking about how can I fix things between us. Um, I still feel like whoever this person is, I feel like this person... I think they need to, or they're trying to figure out what their approach is if they were to contact you. I feel like they do want to fix things between us, but I don't necessarily feel like they're ready with that. I need more time. I feel like they know you guys need to speak, but they get nervous. I feel like this person gets nervous because they have some fessing up that they need to do. Some stuff they need to make clear. <laughs> anyway, whatever that's about. All right. So if you guys are talking to this person, let me just pull a couple of these. And then we're done. I'm going to get out of here. All right. Give me a couple of uh, messages from uh, Leo's person if they are communicating. What does your person have to say? If there is communication, I'm using this. The lover oracle. <laughs> what do you have to say? How could you ever forgive the mess I've made? Whether you're talking to this person or not, I'm going to say that this person probably messed up something because it comes up twice here. Some of you guys are not speaking and some of you guys are speaking. And they're probably saying, how could I ever, you know what I mean? Give me one more from this person, please. Give me one more from this person, from this person to Leo. The way I treated you was wrong. I don't think I treated you that bad, but you never said anything. I feel like some of you guys didn't talk too much. You didn't say enough to defend yourselves. Maybe you only defended yourself while company was there. Or maybe you only had that talk, you know, listen, they're about to come in. That stuff that you regularly say, you might want to be quiet. I think the talks were only had during those times. I don't think this was consistent. That's why they're like, hey, I didn't see nothing wrong with the way I treated you. Just saying. Give me more, please. You never said anything. You don't defend yourself and take a stance and your person thinks it's okay. Will you leave me like the others? <laughs> don't ask Leo that. Okay. Give me one more. Why do I feel so lost? Anyway, that's all I have for you guys. I'm going back to listen to the rain, right? I'm going to lose myself in pure rain and all these beautiful sounds and beautiful words. and oh, Anyway, 
that's all I have for you guys. I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. Why do I feel like I'm missing something? Am I? I don't think I am. I want you guys to please like, share, subscribe. Wait. Oh. Like, share, subscribe. Please. Hmm. I love you guys. I do. I think that's it. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.